Hey, it's Sunday and I'm talking to you about money stuff. Today, I wanna to talk to you about budgeting. Like I know that the word budgeting gets kind of a bad rap. Call it a spending plan if that makes you feel better. Like that sometimes does actually make me feel a little bit better. So let's talk about spending plans. Um, it's not everybody's favorite thing to do, but um, here's the deal. You're a grown up now and it's important that you're responsible with your money. So making a budget, making a plan for your money is really, it's, it's, uh, it's not very optional if you wanna win with your money. So do it, make a budget, make a plan for your money. Um, I got tools for you, you know I do, uh, if you need help with that. Some people um, tell me, well, I don't, outside of the, I don't like it, I get that a lot. I don't really want a budget, I don't really like it. I get it, but you just have to anyway. I don't really like to do the laundry, but I have to do it, so there's that. Uh, some people are like, um, I don't make enough money to budget. I just like have enough to pay the minimums, but I just, I don't make enough, so it doesn't make any sense for me to budget. Well, I would disagree with you. What I would say, somebody is creeping in, close the door. So they say they don't make enough money. Usually when you budget, almost always when you budget, you end up finding money elsewhere. You find opportunities for you to trim and you end up giving yourself a little bit of a raise. So if that's not incentive to do a budget, right? I don't know what is, nobody else is getting a raise right now. Uh, third, some people say, well, I make plenty of money. I don't need to have a budget. I, I've got more coming in than I need. Well, here's your opportunity. Your opportunity is to be intentional with your money. So if you can be intentional with your money, make a plan for that money, even if it's lots of money, you have more opportunity to build wealth and intentionally do that. So be intentional with your money, create a budget. Uh, it's like, um, I would say like you're planning a road trip, right? A road trip, when you plan it, you're like, all right, we're gonna go to Disneyland. Uh, we're gonna drive there because that would be crazy, but whatever, some people like to do that. Um, so we're going to stop here like midway and stay the night, you know, we're going to make a plan and get to, you know, like on your way, making a plan to make it a smooth trip, right? A smooth transition, uh, versus like one morning you wake up and you're like, you know what? I think we're going to drive to Disneyland. Um, and then you just get in the car or you don't pack anything and you stop and you have to buy some clothes and stuff. I don't know. You don't know where you're going to um, sleep. Sometimes there's patches between uh, Portland and Anaheim that don't have any hotel uh, situations. So um, winging it is not a good plan for your money. Just like it's probably not a great plan for driving to Disneyland at, at all. But you following me here? You got to make a plan for your money. That's step number one in getting your financial house in order. I hope that you're having a beautiful Sunday afternoon.